um, their service never wavers, but uh, it is important that they feel like they have the support of the elected officials as well. It is a multi-million dollar issue here in Lincoln. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Megan is off. I'm Rod Fowler. The Lincoln City Council is trying to figure out how to fund police and fire pensions in the future. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Evan Hummel takes a closer look at this in tonight's top story. Evan. Rod, Lincoln is not alone when it comes to challenges in funding police and fire pensions, so they're trying to look for, for a plan that could ear help earmark the money needed. The city council was supposed to vote on increasing pension funds for firefighters and police officers. It's not an easy fix, so they've decided to push a decision back one week. After language in the resolution didn't match what the citizens committee intended. Well, I think this is an important step forward because it sets in our city code what the funding goal for the pension fund is. An actuarial assessment says that the recommended contributions to the retirement fund have fallen short by $7 million since 1990. And with the hardship of the recession brought in 2009, it's been tough to get back on track. But Ron Truba, president of the Lincoln Firefighters Association, says that doesn't paint the whole picture. And if they uh, shortchange their contribution by, say, a million dollars in 1990, that uh, certainly doesn't have the same value that it would today. Last year, the city funded the program at 63 percent. This year, they contributed 80 percent. This resolution would increase that number to 115 percent to try and catch up. The funding change, I think, is more of a commitment to the Lincoln taxpayers that the city council is committing themselves to put themselves on a, a payment track where they will be 100 percent funded in about 28 years. The report also suggested a contribution of $8 million last year. They fell $200,000 short of that. Nearly 1,100 employees are part of this retirement plan. It is, it's very necessary for the city to uphold their end of the bargain and say that we are going to make sure that there is a funding for that compensation in the future. Again, the vote is scheduled for next Monday. Truba said he's confident the plan will pass. And as we mentioned, this is an issue for many cities across the country. So, Evan Hummel, thank you.